Hi kids! Welcome to another episode of Who God Made You To Be. Smartphones have cameras on the same side of the screen so you can take selfies with your friends. We live in a selfie culture where everybody can become a star on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or any number of social media sites. This world tells us we should all stuff I mean aspire to be stars. It's all about us. The Bible reminds us over and over, it's not about us, it's about Jesus. Instead of using the camera that faces us, we need to look through the camera at the other side. We need to aim our hearts and minds at the one who truly deserves a praise. Just as Jesus saved the lepers from their disease, Jesus saved us from any kind of sin. Any praise we receive, we need to give it back to God and point others to Jesus. Jesus has saved us. That's a message that truly needs to go viral. Let's do our part and lift our voices to praise Jesus. If 
you're happy and you know what you all dream. Anyone with a stroke of luck can make a video go viral. It's making the second video that's tricky. How do you continue to capture eyeballs? How do you stay fresh while turning on video after video to meet the demand for content? Content creators will tell you it's extremely hard. Everyone from media to PewDiePie has had days when they wondered how they could keep us such a relentless pace, and that and more than a few of those stars have even quit saying the pressure was just too much. In spite of all this, the world still tells us that we can and should all inspire to be sports. We should all want to be the next viral superstar and we and when we make it, we should bask in the praise of our friends. God has a much different message for us. He wants us to remember that He alone is God and He alone is worthy of praise. He has given us all talents and gifts that we can use to serve others and make a living. And if one of you ever uses those gifts to become a viral superstar, that's great! But don't forget who gave you those gifts. Don't forget who sent his son to become your savior. Don't forget to praise the Lord. Today's story is about 10 men who received an incredible gift from God. All 10 of them were incredibly excited what Jesus did for them. But only one of them put first things first and gave the glory to God. This is Thankful, the Thankful Leper. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true. One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. Now, in the time Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ah, gross! But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, Hey, Jesus! They called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, Go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we hear that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God! Oh yeah, praise God! He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Ah, hmm. Jesus asked, Didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it! Then Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Imagine if this story took place today. I'll bet all nine of the guys who were raised on the sea, I mean to see, the priests would have taken out their phones and live streams their photos. Look at me! I was a leper and now I am cured. I bet they even would have gone fire. The most important part of the story though is the man who went back to thank Jesus. The, the 10 man story was written down in the Bible tells me this story did go fire. This is the story Jesus' followers remember. It's the story they wanted everyone to hear. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. Jesus saved the man from leprosy. He saved us all from sin.
Our memory verse for the week is found in Revelations 4, 11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and had in me. Hi kids! For this week, it's true or false. Alright, if your answer is true, I want you to hop like a bunny. If your answer is false, I want you to scream, it's not true! Alright, actually, maybe you need to chop like a crocodile. Chop! 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 Alright, question number one. Jesus healed ten men of leprosy. Alright, I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is true! That's, did you hear the Ben Pop do? Alright, question number two. The men discovered that they were healed after bathing in the river. Alright. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. The answer is false. Question number three. Only one man came after him, Jesus. Um, I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. The answer is true. Question number four. Jesus doesn't like it when we praise him. Alright. Three, two, one. The answer is false. He loves it when we praise him. Question number five. We, were we made to praise? I mean, we were made to praise the Lord. Alright. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is out with variants make this week's lesson real turn on some praise songs while driving and sing some praise songs in your car together YouTube is an amazing website it's a place you can see old commercials old cartoons and old TV shows it's a place you can watch classic comedians and inspired filmmakers it's a place where you can go to learn anything from how to change an iPhone battery to how to refinish an old piece of furniture YouTube is also a place filled with people who want to glorify themselves. It's, a field, it's filled with channels produced by people who may be offering a service but are motivated by a quest for fame. They have seen other people become mega stars using social media and they produce video after video hoping that they too can receive money, fame, and status. Being the person God wants you to be means giving praise to God. It means we thank Him for every blessing. It means we, we achieve. When we achieve greatness and receive praise from others, we redirect the praise to God. God sent His Son Jesus to save us from sin. He has given us something we could never earn on our own. It should be our mission to give all praise and glory to God so we can make the good news of Jesus go viral. The world tells us we are stars. The world says no one is more than you, more important than you. The world says go out and get what you have coming to you. Jesus says, I save you from what you have coming to, coming to you. I died for your sins to give you a new life. And instead of singing praise for ourselves, we need to make sure all praise is going to Jesus. Let's make the gospel go viral. Let's make sure the whole, whole world knows we give our praise to Jesus. And that's all guys for this week. Thank you for sitting with us and we know that we have, or you have learned a lot of things for this Sunday service. See you guys next week. Goodbye!